the difficulty of integrating traditional systems with distributed ledger technology DLT, and the problem of interoperability amongst blockchains has delayed widespread adoption of blockchain technology. Quant's Overledger DLT Gateway, which provides interoperability across global networks and blockchains, addresses these issues. In this video, I will tell you what Quant is, how it works, and how it has the potential to alter the way data, information, and assets flow throughout the digital financial ecosystem. Gilbert Viridian launched Quant Network in 2015, and its native token, Quant, was released shortly thereafter. The Quant protocol sprang from a strong desire to improve the efficiency of global information sharing. Viridian identified the issue while working for the governments of the United Kingdom and later Australia. He saw how beneficial distributed ledger technology DLT might be in resolving these issues. The addition of overledger capabilities to the Quant protocol has enabled it to use Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Ripple ledgers. The Quant protocol gets the closest to resolving blockchain interoperability difficulties. It is employed in an overledger operating system as a payment validator token. One of the ultimate aims of the Quant platform is to ensure a smooth interoperability, therefore distributing the fragmented world of ledger technology equitably. As a result, many people refer to the Quant protocol as an operating system slash software that connects all blockchains. The QNT coin is a unique type of cryptocurrency to the Quant market. Additionally, it is a compliant coin with the ERC-20 standard being that Quant exists on the Ethereum network. As it is used to pay for applications and services on Quant and may be used for staking slash holding and paying license costs, the QNT cryptocurrency is often considered a utility token. It may be used to get digital access to a certain application or service. After that, QNT coins are charged access fees depending on a predetermined amount of fiat cash. For instance, businesses and developers must contribute monthly consumption fees to the Quant Treasury account for it to function in tandem with the QNT tokens. The access fee is calculated not only with reference to the total number of tokens produced, but also with reference to the total amount of fixed fiat money. For instance, Businesses and developers have a monthly payment obligation to the Quant Treasury of $10, which is calculated based on the value of one QNT token. More QNT coins are produced whenever there is a greater demand for the cryptocurrency and an increase in the number of people who are using it. These tokens are then put into circulation. Quant is a solution that can be plugged in and started immediately, and it integrates several blockchains and corporate applications without the need for new infrastructure. Through Distributed Ledger Technology DLT and Applicant Programming Interfaces APIs on the Overledger's API Gateway, individual blockchains can connect with one another. It consists of three different layers. 1. The Transaction Layer The main responsibility of this layer is the storing of transactions. When putting linked actions into one layer and verifying them over the blockchain, diverse and separate ledgers are employed to keep track of everything. Once a transaction has been validated, there is no way under any circumstances that it may subsequently be invalidated. On this layer, all the necessary events for a consensus across blockchains occur. 2. Messaging Layer The information and data transfer are handled by the messaging layer. Data about smart contracts, metadata, and transactions are the three forms of data that are capable of being processed. The usage of metadata allows for the interpretation of messages and the translation of those messages into various languages so that different blockchains can understand them. 3. Filtering and Ordering Layer This layer is also responsible for handling messages. On the other hand, this layer requires filtering searches into specific results, in contrast to the communications layer. Every message entered into the digital ledger system is saved in an organized database and is organized according to the principle of first come, first served. Since it is the only layer that retains a record of the messages sent between stages of the protocol, the filtering and ordering layer is the one in charge of validating off-chain communications when this functionality is necessary. Therefore, developers can establish specific tasks such as enabling an application to send tokens to a specified network after being placed on a decentralized application dApp. As the Quant platform is built on Ethereum, it uses the robust security and interoperability features offered by the Ethereum ecosystem, in contrast to the blockchain that underpins Bitcoin, which is primarily concerned with giving users a means to exchange value. Ethereum may be used in a far wider variety of situations. You'll be able to use various features when you use Quant, including DEXs, DeFi, and blockchain games. Quant runs on a modular architecture that isolates itself from other ledgers at the application layer. 
It operates on a higher level than these networks, utilizing vertical scalability and systems that are resilient to change. Now we will discuss some of the characteristics that provide utility to Quant. Number one is Overledger, DLT Gateway. Overledger is an enterprise solution that connects with various distributed ledger technologies, DLTs, used in the management of businesses. When it comes to supply chains, for instance, many DLTs could be utilized for procurement, logistics, provenance, customs, and payments. Yet most of the time these DLTs are unable to interact with one another. Overledger contributes to the resolution of this issue by utilizing a singular API that paves the way for rapid development of applications that are compatible with all DLTs simultaneously. Next is Overledger and Maps. The Overledger operating system and the Overledger network are the two components that make up the Quant network. You are granted the ability to construct and access multi-chain apps by using the proprietary technology that is the Overledger operating system OS. The Maps, on the other hand, rely on treaty contracts which let you design applications that are compatible with many blockchains. Smart contracts used by other DeFi apps are not used equally as significant is the fact that the characteristics of a particular map reflect the blockchains upon which it was built and not the Overledger OS. The Overledger network comprises several businesses and software developers that make use of the Quant network. In this location, they must pay an annual license fee to use the technology. The Overledger network marketplace also allows you to sell the maps and data that they have developed. Multi-Ledger Tokens Quant also supports multi-ledger tokens, often known as MLTs which are digital assets backed by fiat funds and held in escrow by a financial institution. These multilateral trading facilities provide their services to central banks, banks, fintech companies, closed-loop payment systems, marketplaces, and micropayment platforms. MLTs may be used as stable coins, vouchers, and loyalty points. Additionally, they can be used as e-money for making cross-border bank transfers that are both quick and transparent. Community Treasury Quant is one of the few projects that has a genuine community-governed treasury. This enables stakeholders in the Quant economy to assist in guiding the growth of the Quant ecosystem. This is designed to function as a multi-application map hosted on the blockchain. Quant SAAS Quant has plans to build its software-as-a-service SAAS platform for corporate and middleware apps and the app store that they have already established. These will include solutions that are adapted to meet the requirements of certain industries based on the demands of a variety of business fields. In light of this, the developers have pledged to place their primary emphasis on sectors including healthcare, supply chain, government services, and financial services. One of these products is called Quant Health, and it is used to assist healthcare organizations in maintaining the functionality of their systems using blockchain technology. Now, let's take a look at the pros and cons of Quant Network. First of all, we will discuss the pros of the Quant Network. Since it was created from scratch, Quant is free of most of the constraints that come with DLT. It is simple to install and requires no prior knowledge of cryptography or programming. Quant users, regardless of their status, can connect to any form of digital ledger system. Developers, people, and even government employees can use the network without previous programming skills. The platform's attractiveness stems from its mix of flexibility and ease of use. The Quant may be purchased with fiat and immediately converted back to fiat. Quant cannot be forked or lose connection with its numerous ledgers, hence the odds of a network security breach are incredibly minimal. The team has experience with encryption, security, and critical systems, which will help ensure the platform's safety. Unlike most distributed ledger systems, no data is saved on Quant's network gateway. The network uses a standards-compliant API to add an extra degree of protection. Finally, the cons of Quant Network. Since centralized exchanges are key participants in the interoperability field, the exchange's dominance influences the security of your Quant tokens. If there is a breach, your tokens might be stolen. Although the Quant protocol appears to be doing everything correctly, it is still relatively obscure and has a long way to go before overtaking the market leaders. Quant, poised to disrupt specific existing finance systems, needs to enter the blockchain business and grow powerful enough to compete with traditional finance TradFi firms. At last, let's summarize today's video. Distributed ledgers, the foundation of blockchain technology, are constantly evolving. Data is stored in these ledgers over a network of decentralized nodes. They are a digital innovation that some believe has the potential to disrupt global financial transactions. However, the widespread use of blockchain technology by central banks and global financial institutions would need to resolve the numerous hurdles associated with combining old systems with new distributed ledgers. Quant's overledger operating system connects individual blockchains and the technology might signal a shift towards widespread blockchain usage. 
The future of QNT crypto depends on the bank and financial institution choices regarding blockchain use and the legal and regulatory environment. Quant's function is predicted to be substantial if and when governments begin generating digital fiat currencies that necessitate the integration of blockchains, and the crypto's value will be indicative of the enabling technology.